you kind of do what you do. You, you kind of bite the bullet, so to speak. And I was so close to the charge when it went off. I, I don't have a whole lot of recollection of that episode and things being a bit of a haze. There's no question within the SEAL community, there's unmeasurable willingness to maintain resiliency. But what I found and what so many other people are finding is that there's an end state to that resiliency. My body just quit on me. That isn't normal behavior. It was an unknown anomaly. You know, for me, it was, uh, you know, I've never had an awesome memory, but I've never had a bad memory. And so to have trouble recalling, uh, you know, I remember those times where I was calling someone and all of a sudden I'd drop like, who am I calling? I had to look down on my phone real quick, hopefully before they answer to figure out who it was I was calling. You know, I remember asking my daughters one time, he, how often does your dad's face look angry, tired, and uninterested? And they just looked at me in their, in their sweetness, they said all the time. And, and it just shocked me. It, it broke my heart in a lot of ways. Um, but once he told me that, I was like, okay, that's not okay. So what, what, how do we fix that? I think because Dave's symptoms were so subtle, I don't really know exactly when I started noticing changes. It was hard to, to pinpoint an exact time. He got really consumed with schedules. His cognitive skills, I noticed, started going. His memory. And then there was also socializing. He didn't want to go out as much anymore and this was somebody who loved meeting new people but now looking back I can see that those were the beginning signs that something was changing in his personality. Something was wrong. As far as traumatic brain injury or post-traumatic stress or whatever the result of my lifestyle over that decade, initially the symptoms they weren't visible just because, probably because I wasn't aware of them. There's been a big focus, not just in the SEAL community, but in sports now and concussions and the, the potential long-term side effects for them. And, you know, I, th I think wholeheartedly, the community wasn't trying to hide us from that. It's just that there hadn't really been a history of it. And so the more that people are aware and can speak up when they're having issues and symptoms, then the more doctors will understand what the issues are, which leads to more therapies, better therapies, cures, better protective gear. Education is key to that, letting folks know that these are symptoms and here's what causes brain injuries and here's why you need to speak up the why, why I'm experiencing these. And I, but I, I, mentally, I was beyond that. I was like, well, I know why. Now I need to know how to fix it. But we like the fight. And the truth of the matter is, hey, if something's wrong with me, just tell me. Tell me something's wrong with me. Tell me what it is so I can get after it. Because now my, my kind of carnivore nature comes out. And so just be like, you've got this. This is what you got to do to fix it. Go. Like, we like those matter of fact circumstances. You know, it's like, hey, we kind of think someone's shooting at you. Well, that didn't help me. Like, that guy's shooting at you from over there, go get him. We deal in absolute truths. And so if the absolute truth is, this is what's standing between me and being where I say I need to be, then just tell me. Because we got work to do. And the more time we spend talking about it and making it sound nicer than it really is, that's taken away from the time we have to work on it. And I'm all about attack mode. You know, after Dave died, one of the things that I became super passionate about was creating some awareness and finding answers. What if there was a baseline when guys came into BUDS and we knew what they were starting with in the way of brain health? And then that could be tracked throughout their career so that flags could go up when we noticed some changes and not wait until it got to a chronic stage like it did with Dave, because every day advances are being made. And so I think, what if I had information about what could happen to Dave early on? It would have changed a lot of things, but the information wasn't available back then. But we know it now. We know it now, so we should be putting these things into place to help make that difference for everybody who comes after. An organization like the Navy SEAL Foundation to grab this because of the name they have, because of the community they support, because of what they're trying to accomplish, and be the single point of collection for information. 
what more would you want from a community? What more would you want from a nonprofit organization 